ಲೋಕಸಭ ಪಾಸಸ್ ದ ಡಿಎನ್ಎ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಲ್ ದ ಡಿಎನ್ಎ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಬೈ ಲೋಕಸಭಾ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಡೇ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಡಿಎನ್ಎ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಲ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಎನ್ಎ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಅಲೌಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಯೂಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಎಮಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಮಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಡಿಎನ್ಎ ಡೇಟಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಜನಲ್ ಡಿಎನ್ಎ ಡೇಟಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ every data bank will have to maintain dna data as per the following categories the crime scene index the suspects or under trials index the offenders index the missing persons index and an unknown deceased persons index a brief debate focused on the potential misuse of the bill went on in lok sabha this tuesday union science and technology minister harshvardhan said that the assembly discussed the issues of issues of privacy confidentiality and data protection he further added that once the bill becomes a law it will aid the justice system in the identification of current criminals and in locating families of missing children and various other cases the bill went through several stages of scrutiny in the last 15 years and is finally brought from the drafting board to parliament earlier the bill was vehemently opposed by shashi tharoor of congress and nk premchandran of rsp with demands to send it to the standing committee of the house as per previous reports from the wire dbt back in the year 2003 was the first to propose the bill in the prime ministry of late atal bihari vajpayee a dna profiling advisory committee was put together by dbt 4 years later when the human dna profiling bill was drafted until 2012 the bill underwent a series of modifications in 2013 a committee was pulled together to examine the final draft which was approved by late 2014 in 2015 the revised draft was passed ahead from ministry of science and technology to the legislative department of the ministry of law and justice as per the bill terms the prime role of the regulatory committee will be to accredit dna testing labs from which data can be collected and ensure the maintenance of high quality standards but as per recent privacy and surveillance issues faced the committee itself will be under close watch to ensure there is no breach of dna data security the approved bill has however left behind a lot of concerns lurking like missing for the collection of dna samples for civil matters it fails to state if the consent has to be voluntary also if the dna labs are authorized to store a copy the dna sample they analyze what if it's misused these issues are just to name a few during the debate nk premchandran mp from kollam demanded the bill be sent to a parliamentary standing committee will the bill become a law time will tell should you have any questions please comment below do not forget to subscribe to biotechnica's youtube channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with latest in bt sector